so much for watching today's video. It is going to be a pretty quick what's in my bag featuring this baby here, my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. If you remember a few weeks ago, I did a review on her. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box down below so you can check that out just to see you know, if it's a bag that you may be interested in or you may have it on your radar but you're not quite sure. Check it out, let me know what you think. So I'm gonna show you guys what I carry and how I pack her. I'm gonna open her up. It has uh, three compartments right there. And the first one here is where we're gonna get started. And just so you know, there's gonna be a lot of monogram <laughs> going on in here. The first thing I see is my key clay. This is, was a gift for my husband. I keep all my keys in here. Now, pretty cool if you don't know, this has like a pocket in here. You can just keep your uh, driver's license, your credit card, take it and go. I just have a Starbucks gift card that I keep forgetting that I have in there. Moving on. <clears throat> ah, my monogram key clay. I use this as a, this is actually my wallet, so that's everywhere with me. Next is my coin round coin purse if you're on the fence of getting this i would seriously get it just because it is actually being discontinued by louis vuitton so if you find it get it um, here we go all i keep in here are actually headphones i did purchase it with the intention of it being for coins but it was stretching really bad <laughs> i didn't want to do that and this was kind of like my um my souvenir that I brought back from Mardi Gras when me and my husband went for our uh, honeymoon. So much fun, oh my God. Next in the middle compartment right here, which is the uh, biggest compartment, I have my toiletry bag. This is a size 15. It's relatively small. I think, I believe it is the smallest size. So I use this as a makeup bag. You can kind of see without me spilling it over. I'll go through what's in here. It's not, um, I don't carry too much, I think, because it doesn't hold a lot, which is pretty good. I have my Avery Wine Concealer, which I need. <laughs> my Rimmel London uh, Waterproof Gel Liner. One of the best gel liners I've purchased. I have a small blush from uh, Real Techniques. I love their brushes. A Sephora Lip it's a li liquid lipstick. Ugh, got some type. It's a number 14. My Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I love this stuff. A NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in uh, Ibiza. One more Sephora Lip, uh, lip Gloss. No, more, uh, no, it's a liquid lipstick in 13. This is my favorite one. Uh, cherry chapstick because we need our cherry chapstick. Uh, Palladio Herbal Eyeliner in black. I rarely wear false lashes, but I like to keep lash glue with me. In case, I, don't know. I have uh, tweezers from Tweezer Man. A small uh, Chloe perfume. So, one of my recent favorites. A very old uh, Tarte mascara, I don't know if you can even open it. It's pretty dry actually, but I like it because it's um, small, travel size. I love travel size stuff. Another brush from Real Techniques. I have uh, nail clippers. Totally blanked on what those are called. <laughs> and two uh, NARS things here. I have the um, highlight in Abatross. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful color. This is one of my first highlights I actually purchased ever. And I have the blush in Lovejoy. This is both of them I'm actually wearing right now. Let's go. All that fits in here. I actually carry quite a bit in there, don't I? <laughs> I guess I was fooling my damn self. And then I have my uh, mini pochette accessories. 
I'm gonna just keep a bunch of random crap. Um, feminine toiletries. I do have a e.l.f. lipstick in here, moisturizing lipstick. I have a compact. This is just a mirror, double-sided mirror. I wish one side was magnified for what I paid for, but it wasn't. I have a small box of um, matches in case I want to start a small fire or something. I have this really pretty pen that I got from Target. It's really pretty. I have a stylist in here. Mm, so. Neosporin and a band-aid. Because you never know. That's about it that I have in here. This, the pochette accessories and the Kikle were actually my very first Louis Vuitton purchases. Brand new from the boutique. I was, oh my god, I felt like such a big girl in the store. <laughs> I was so proud of myself, you know, in, the, in a big name brand store like that. Designer. Silly, I know. In the middle compartment, there is actually a pocket also. And I keep my clip on in there. Just to hold my purse. Um, a table or something. In the very back here, there's a third pocket. It is super thin, super tight. And I keep my um, iPad mini back there. So this is it. Just my iPad in gold. Uh, it has a very thin silicone uh, clear case on the back. So if I had a thicker case, it definitely wouldn't fit in there. But just with this super thin one, it's a pretty tight squeeze. Throw it in there. But I don't really like to put cases on my iPad, so it's perfect for me. And back, she does have a pocket. A zipper pocket, I should say. And I don't put anything in there because I don't want the leather to stretch out too bad. So... I keep it empty and that's pretty much it guys that's all I carry in my baby and I've already had it for a couple months now but you already see she has like a really nice uh, patina going on the handle and on the pool here on the vaquetta the shadow of vaquetta how do you say it? I say vaquetta <laughs> but that's it guys that's all that fits in here and I truly love this bag I have been wearing it non-stop Unless I'm at work, I'm at work, I, use, I take my messenger bag, but otherwise I switch and I'm right into this bag. I have been wearing it non-stop and I seriously could not be happier with her. I get a lot of compliments on her, honestly, and people are always wondering like, what kind of bag is it? Where did you get it? Like, all that good stuff, but I seriously am so happy that I got this bag. I have my eye on the Neverfull. Um, I really want that one as my next purchase and they're full MM with the rose ballerine interior, the pink. Oh my god, that's like my holy grail right now. But since they were this bag was being discontinued, I had to jump on it and I bought it and I I don't regret it at all. And I just really hope they don't discontinue the rose ballerine interior because I'll be sad. But I won't regret buying this bag. So I hope this helps if you are interested in purchasing this bag and you want to see what you can fit, what you can carry. I hope this helped you in your decision. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you or any questions about the bag, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching.